Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is a good old trying new makeup video. We've got five products to try out. I'm going to be honest with you. I filmed this video last week and so you're going to see me in the past, but I forgot to film the intro. So I'm filming it today, but I did want it to be a first impressions video. So I didn't want to like refilm the video trying new makeup because that would defeat the purpose of a trying new makeup video. Uh, but I did want to be semi uniform. So I'm wearing the same sweater and I'm wearing the makeup on my face today. But um, let's get into what we're trying. So like I said, I'm trying five different makeup products. And the first one is the New House Labs Triclone Skin Tech Medium Coverage Foundation with Fermented Arnica. This comes in 41 shades and retails for $45. It's supposed to have a natural finish, supposed to be medium coverage like the title states. It's supposed to be long wearing. Of course, it's a liquid formula and it is also clean at Sephora and hypoallergenic. So I'm excited to try this out with you guys on camera. And then within the same brand, I'm trying out the New House Labs Bio Blurring Towel free loose setting powder. This comes in five shades and retails for $38. It's supposed to have light coverage. It's vegan and cruelty free and it's also clean at Sephora. And then from the brand Merit, we're trying out the new Bronze Balm Sheer Sculpting Bronzer. This comes in five shades and retails for $30. It is vegan. It's supposed to have a natural finish. It's also supposed to be hydrating and it's also clean at Sephora and cruelty free. And then we're also gonna be trying out the new Charlotte Tilbury Beautiful Skin Medium to Full Coverage Radiant Concealer with Hyaluronic Acid. This retails for $33 and it comes in 30 shades. It's supposed to have a radiant finish. It's supposed to be long wearing. It also is supposed to provide medium coverage and based on it saying in the title that it's also supposed to go to full, I'm sure you could build it up to full as well. It also includes hyaluronic acid and it says specifically that it is good for dark circles and it is the best for dry combo and normal skin. And then lastly, we're trying out the new Milani Conceal and Perfect Face Lift Collection Liquid Highlighter. This retails for $10.99. It comes in four shades and it is supposed to provide a soft focus candle lit effect. It's cruelty free. The features include being buildable with a luminous finish that dries evenly for easy layering as a targeted cushion applicator that dispenses the product evenly. And it also has a twist cap lock system that provides product from seeping out when the cap is closed. So I'm very excited to try this stuff out with you on camera. So let's flash back to last week when I recorded that footage and uh, let's get started on trying out this makeup. I've already primed one side of my face. I left one side unprimed because we're gonna be trying out a foundation and a powder today. And I wanna see how they wear with a primer and how they wear without a primer, like on their own. So on the left side of my face, I primed with the NYX Plump Right Back Primer. This is my favorite, it is so good. And I just put it all over my face and then um, to fill in my pores, like in my T-zone, I use the e.l.f. Poreless Putty Primer, but this is the salicylic acid version, so <laughs> looks like the Grinch color. So I just got the new House Labs foundation and loose powder in today. I picked up the foundation in two different shades. I took the shade match test on Sephora and House Labs website, and neither one of them came up with uh, what I thought were viable options for my skin tone. So I completely ignored what they put and they're completely different from each other. And I'm gonna put pictures of them so you can see how comical it is that sometimes these shade match things I swear don't work. And what's funny is for the Sephora one, you know, you can go in and you can put in a specific foundation that you use. Um, that's a pretty good shade match and then it'll shade match you for the other foundation that you're looking for. So I use the new Hourglass Ambient Glow Foundation as like a base for them to figure out what my shade match would be in the House Labs Foundation because this is a pretty good shade match. And they gave me something really different from this way off. So sometimes I just think that those shade match things are just a scam. <laughs> But um, I did pick the House Labs up in two different shades. I've got light neutral and then light cool. Very different. This one has like an olive -y undertone. The shade swatches on both websites were weird. Um, like I couldn't get a really good idea of what they would look like. So I just went with what I thought would be the best based on the description. So I got this light neutral shade, which I think is the shade I'm gonna be using today because I'm not self tanned or anything. By the way, this is in the shade 110 light neutral. So there's a difference, they have a bunch of different light neutrals. This is 110 and this is labeled as very light with neutral balanced undertones. So we'll see, um, I haven't even opened these up yet as you can see. And then this one is 190 light cool. Uh, I don't think this is really cool at all. Very olivey. 
um, which is in the description. It says that this is light with cool golden olive undertones, which is like, that's a complete oxymoron to me, like that description. But whatever, I've rambled about it enough. I'm very excited to get to trying this. I'm gonna do one side of my face with my go-to Blendiful method. This is just how I normally apply foundation. And then I am going to go in on the other side with this Haley Beauty foundation brush. Um, I know a lot of people use a brush and if I need to, I'll go over it with a sponge and kind of smooth it out. Yeah, I think I'm definitely gonna go with this one. These are very heavy. Um, like, gosh, these are like, you could use these as weights when you work out. Very, very beautiful packaging. Lady Gaga completely just like forgot about Amazon and decided that she was gonna go on Sephora instead and she really upped her packaging. Of course, she upped her prices. These retail for $45 each. At first, because of the shape of this bottle, I thought it was gonna be like some sort of weird like dispenser, but it is a pump, which I love. Gosh, this is like such a heavy, I feel like I'm gonna like, if I hit, like if I accidentally like lose control of this and it slides on my hands and can like put a dent in my wall. But I'm just gonna put this on my palette. Okay, very liquidy, um, like pretty runny, but I like that. So I'm gonna go on the right side of my face with the Blendiful and uh, we'll see what happens. I've got some stuff to cover, breakout. I had a cold sore, it's so nice. I've had cold sore since I was a little kid and it's awful. If you never had one, you're very, very lucky. Going on, it's looking really nice. Definitely a little bit of a glow. Um, of course, I am wearing the Can Make Mermaid Skin UV sunscreen. So that might be upping the glow as well. Once again, this is the side that doesn't have primer. It's looking really nice. Definitely medium coverage off the bat, I would say. I think that's really nice. The shade is not perfect, but I think it's better than the other options they gave me. I always have to remember to keep it on one side of my face when I'm doing videos like this because <laughs> it's so easy to like want to go to the other side. This is looking really, really beautiful. It is 8.30 in the morning and I'm going to wear it as long as I can. I have to go to bed really early tonight because I have to get up at like 2 o'clock in the morning for real because I've got a really early flight to Indianapolis to see my grandmother. But so far, that is looking really nice. Definitely not covering my pimple completely. It is still pretty red, still like trying to heal it. But this is very, very nice. So far, it's looking really nice. I like that you can still somewhat see my freckles. Um, I do wish it had a little bit more coverage there. We might go in with second layer on that. But I really don't think I need any more layers on this side. I think that one is good. So that side looks really good. Let's see what it does with a brush. Once again, I'm using this Haley Beauty's one and um, I rarely use brushes anymore when putting on foundation. That is looking really nice. The reason that I kind of steered away from brushes is the brush strokiness and I just thought this applied my makeup smoother which it probably still does it's slightly smoother on this side but not so much to where I think I'm gonna need to like blend this out with a sponge I think I'll be good just using a brush which is very rare usually I have to go in with a sponge to kind of like press it into my skin after I lay the foundation down with a brush but it, it just, it goes on really, really easily and it, it just settles down so nicely. You definitely have some time to work with it because it doesn't dry down super fast, which is nice. I don't like when foundation dries down super fast. Um, oh, I do want to try the buildable because it says it's buildable. So I'm definitely going to build up a little bit in some areas, but for the most part, I think that this is like... It's pretty good on one layer. I think I'm getting slightly more coverage with the Blendiful side. Um, I don't know if that's picking up on camera. My nose is my like a trouble area for me. I hate how hard it is to put makeup on my nose for some reason. So I definitely think I'm gonna need to smooth that over with a Blendiful because like with a brush, it's kind of like leaving like little splotches. I don't know if you can see that, but um, yeah. De definitely getting more coverage on this side, I think, cause like I have a little baby pimple down here, um, which I hope it stays a baby <laughs> and then goes away. But this one I feel like is a little less red than this one is, even though this one is bigger. I could just be imagining that. I don't really know. 
but we are gonna test the buildability. Is that a word? <laughs> We're just gonna go with it. We are gonna test the buildability of this foundation. I'm just going to um, get like a half a pump because I used all of that that I had on my palette pretty much. And I'm gonna have to blend this down my neck. We're just gonna like kind of, let's start it on this pimple and we'll just see if it covers anymore. It did cover slightly more. I just like kind of put most of the um, makeup, most of the foundation on this pimple and just kind of like feathered it out. Um, Cause I didn't really want to add a ton of coverage to the rest. Cause I think that I have plenty of coverage. I got a little bit in my hair. Being a blonde is such a struggle. Like I swear, no matter how hard I try, I'm gonna end up with foundation in my hairline and it's so annoying. On my nose, using the Blendiful definitely is smoother. Um, that's not probably a foundation thing. I guarantee you it's just my nose. <laughs> all right, so I think that's about all I'm going to get out of the coverage on this side. It is looking really pretty. It builds pretty easily. Typically, I would spot conceal this. We might with the concealer I'm trying out today uh, because I definitely don't think it's full coverage, although this foundation is not claimed to be full coverage, so you know I'm not holding that against it. I am gonna go in like on a tiny layer and focus it on this little pimple and maybe some pigmentation on my cheeks since I did get less coverage with the brush on the first layer. And we're just gonna kind of like naturally build it up as naturally as you can, I guess. Just want a little extra. I am going on this side of my nose with the Blendiful because I just can't get the brush like strokiness on my nose to go away. Once again, my nose is so weird with makeup. It's so annoying, but I did just do a very, very light layer on this side with the brush again. And I think this is really, really pretty. Um, I love the way that this is laying. All right, so next on the list is the new Charlotte Tilbury concealer. I had to get it in two different shades. I actually originally ordered this concealer on launch day on Charlotte Tilbury's website. I very rarely buy from the brand's website, but I wanted to snatch this up because I thought perhaps it would like go off the shelves like their foundation did, which I have right here, by the way. If you haven't tried it out, it's amazing. You definitely should. It didn't sell out as fast as I thought it would. So I originally ordered it and the shade I originally got it in was three fair because I have this in the shade three neutral and I thought maybe these would be close and they're not. I think this is entirely too light. Um, especially when you open it up, it's extremely fair. So I don't think that this is gonna work, especially with the foundation I tried today, which is looking really pretty by the way. And then I went ahead and ordered it on Sephora's website and got it in six medium. And this is comical that this is six medium. I think I'm gonna have to go with six medium and I'll add a little bit of three neutral if I need to. Um, I do love this, so I'm, I have high hopes for the concealer. I also tried their bronzer recently in a coffee chat video and I've really been loving it since then. It's quickly become one of my favorite products. Um, their new glow skin, beautiful skin <laughs> cream bronzer. <laughs> it's got some like long weird name, but I do really love that. So I have high hopes for this. So I'm gonna go in with the shade six medium first and then we'll go in with three neutral if we need to, to kind of lighten it up if we need to. Hopefully we won't cause I'd like to just stick with one shade, but let's go ahead and uh, try it on this side. I think I'm gonna use a sponge on this side and maybe a brush on this side. Um, I think the shade may be okay. It may be a little dark, but it seems to be going with my foundation all right. I don't like super bright under eyes. I'm gonna blend this one eye at a time, by the way, because I don't know if this dries down or anything like that. A little yellowy. Might have to add a little bit of that lighter shade, darn it. Well, I don't know, maybe not. Maybe a little bit. Does blend pretty nicely and pretty easily. I'm interested to see how it's going to blend with a brush. I think it helped my dark circles, but I don't think it erased them completely. I'm gonna go in with a lighter shade and do like just one singular swipe because this is so fair. I think that singular swipe will be good. Yeah, if I could combine these two shades, like 75% of this and like 25% of this, if they have that shade in their range, I would get that one. At this point, I'm kind of tired of hunting <laughs> for shades. So I'll probably just use these together. It looks really, really pretty. 
it does. I will say my favorite concealer is the Catrice True Skin Concealer, and I'm not seeing this to be any better than the, than this one. So I will see how this wears. We'll see how I continue liking it, and I'll update you in a speed reviews video. But it does look really pretty. I just don't know if it's anything special because the True Skin Concealer is like mind-blowingly amazing. If you haven't tried it yet, you should. You can get it on Amazon and Catrice's website. And if you live in Canada, I think they sell it at like Shoppers or something like that. So yeah, but I'm gonna go in on this side. I'll do this shade first and see how the coverage is with a brush. And then we'll go in with one swipe with the three fair shade. I'm gonna use the Angie Hot and Flashy Concealer Brush. I love this brush set. If you haven't tried it, it's so good. It's my favorite. Like all of the brushes are my favorites. You can buy them individually now and it's amazing. The concealer is definitely smoother with the sponge. There's a little bit of just where it's having a hard time blending with the brush. And I really, really love this brush. This brush works beautifully with all of my favorite concealers, including the Catrice True Skin Concealer I just mentioned. And it does blend, but it takes a little bit more effort um, using this brush with this concealer than it has with this brush and the Catrice concealer. I don't know, I'm just not loving this concealer and that's what speed reviews are for because who knows, when I come back with a speed reviews video in like a month, I might be like, this is the best concealer in the world. But right now it's just not blowing my mind or anything like that. So I, that's just, this is what first impressions are. But I did go in with that lighter shade because I wanna balance it out. This is such a weird roller coaster of emotions. This concealer is really pretty, but since the Catrice one is $7 and this one is $33, I think that the drugstore option is more beautiful and of course it's less expensive, so I just think it's more worth it. But I do think this is really pretty. I didn't mean to go on this side and blend. I didn't even do anything. A little unsure. It's pretty, but it's not blowing my mind because my expectations are so high with that Catrice concealer. And I'm sorry I said Catrice concealer like 15,000 times in the past five minutes. But now we're gonna go in with the new House Labs powder. Um, I got this in the lightest shade, which is just translucent. They have other shades that are like colored shades. So this is what the packaging looks like. Very pretty, um, hard plastic. It's got like the matte bottom and a chrome top. Very, very pretty. Of course, it's got like this where it's holding, it's like stopping the sifter. Um, it doesn't look like you get a whole lot of product in here seven grams what do you get so my favorite one right now is this one and this has 7.5 grams and the fit me one by maybelline is really good as well and i'm pretty sure there's more there's way more in that one than there is in this one and this one has more than this one so goodness so i'm just kind of like going in right here this is it was squishy okay interesting and i'm just gonna set it it's really quite interesting to me that there's only seven grams in here the the lid takes up most of the packaging so i feel like i would fly through this powder because i do set my under eyes and like my smile lines i know that's not in right now but i'm a rebel i don't follow trends this is very interesting powder because it really doesn't let you get as much as you want because of the sifter which is good and bad it depends on what your preference is like if you're somebody who really depends on loose powder this might not give you enough to work with like especially if you maybe have oily skin and you like need to like bake or really heavily set maybe in the heat <laughs> um so i like it it is kind of frustrating that you have to keep pressing this because I feel like it's like falling all over me and not getting quite on my sponge, which of course defeats the purpose of it. It's just okay. I can't believe though, like I'm still having a hard time <laughs> wrapping my head around the fact that the, the lid takes up most of the packaging. It looks like you get so much more product and then you open it and this is so much shorter. So that's kind of annoying, especially since this is $38. It's expensive. So I'm, I'm just not pumped about this like I thought it was gonna be. We're gonna see how it kind of looks after I kind of like waft, that's not what I'm looking for, dust off the remaining powder and then we'll go from there. While this is setting, we're going to go on to the Merit Cream Bronzer. I'm very excited. I got this in the lightest shade and I'm in love with the packaging. The lightest shade is Quincy, I think is how you pronounce it. Um, it's a very interesting shape. 
Typically with cream bronzers, I go on my, I like rub it on my hand when it's in this format because I don't like drawing it on. I feel like that takes away, it just is harder to blend. So then therefore it like takes away coverage from your foundation. I don't want to do that, but ooh, it is just so much fun. I love Merit products. I actually did a video with them. It was really cool. They sponsored me and I'm like still like so in awe that they did that. I really love their signature lipstick. That was actually what the video was focused on and I've been loving pretty much everything else from them. So I'm excited about this. Um, and I'm just gonna, I think I'm just gonna go on my hand and go from here. It is pretty light. So I think it'll be pretty natural, which actually I'm cool with. It does look kind of warm, but that's okay. Um, I'm gonna go in with this Profusion Buffing Foundation Brush. This is F the FD1 brush. I love this for cream bronzer. Um, so, is that doing anything? <laughs> Maybe I need to add a little bit more. Like I said, this is pretty light. So maybe, maybe it's not gonna show up as easily, but then, you know, maybe that's a good thing. It is really pretty. It's giving a very natural look. Um, I don't know if it's even coming across on camera, to be honest, but in person, it's very natural. I really like the way it's looking. I think even though I just went on and on about how Cream bronzer makes foundation pick up easier. I think on this side, I am gonna draw it on just to see because I'm just curious to see like what it does. It is very natural, really pretty though. I really do like the way that looks. I could see this becoming something very just quick and easy to put on. Let's like draw it on my face now. This makes me nervous. I'm kind of like dotting it on. I don't know if that helps. It didn't take away any coverage, but I still like this side better. I just think it looks better. But it is super easy to work with. I wonder, like, let's see what happens when I do that. It makes me nervous, especially since I got it a little bit closer to my hairline than I wanted. It's very natural looking, very pretty, easy to blend. So far, I'm really loving this. I think this will be good for maybe those of you who are just getting into cream bronzers and you like want something easy to start off with. I think this is a great product for that. And I would agree with all the claims that it's giving kind of like a natural finish. It's really pretty, it's hydrating. I could definitely see myself like picking this up like in the morning and just getting ready really quickly. So I love that so far. Let's go ahead and wipe off the powder and just see. I mean, there wasn't much left because it really limits how much you're able to get out. It did set my eyes for the most part, but I'm still seeing a little bit of gathering of concealer right here. If you can see that. Um, we'll see how my smile line starts to look throughout the day. The one over here is the most prominent. So we'll see, you know, if it starts to crease or whatever pretty quickly. I'm just not overly impressed with this so far. Before I finish off the rest of my face off camera, I'm going to try out the new Milani Liquid Highlighter. I got this in the lightest shade, which is maybe a little bit darker than I was expecting. This is in the shade Lunar. Obviously, they're trying to make a dupe for the Charlotte Tilbury Liquid Highlighters. Um, they also made a contour one that I've also tried out uh, off camera and loving so far. I'll be updating you guys on that, but I'm just gonna kind of go like this. So I think it goes well with this foundation, but it's definitely like, if I were to put this on my skin before foundation, this would definitely be a little bit too dark. I'm just gonna blend it. Did that do anything? Oh, I don't have barely anything on here. And now I have too much, wow. Okay, I'm actually gonna like, <laughs> disperse that a little bit with my finger and oh I think that looks nice okay at first I wasn't sure because I didn't have barely any on there evidently but that looks really nice it's kind of natural looking which I like because sometimes I feel like highlighter is just way too noticeable and this is like an inner glow sort of thing and it's really pretty. I definitely think the lightest shade should be lighter than this. I think this should be like the second to third lightest shade because um, it's definitely like if you're any lighter than what my foundation is right now, 
I kind of just wiped that all away. Then you might not be able to use it because it might actually be darker than your skin tone, which then of course defeats the purpose of a highlighter. I think it's really pretty, very natural actually. I'm really loving the way that my skin is looking today. I'm not loving the powder like I said. We'll see how it wears, but it's just not my favorite. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna go finish off the rest of my face, put some face powder on and just like finish off my eyebrows and stuff. And then I'm gonna come back and tell you my thoughts and uh, then we'll go throughout the day. And then at the end of the day, I'm gonna give you a little check-in. And of course, in a future speed reviews video, I'm going to give you more detailed thoughts of all of these products. Um, so I will see you guys in a second. All right, so I just finished putting all my makeup on and I do have um, some additional thoughts. So the concealer and the powder are definitely my least favorite. Um, I'm looking, the powder didn't set my under eyes very well at all. And I'm pretty sure it's got a little bit of like very, very tiny glitter particles to it. I'll see if I can get like a clip in like natural lighting because I can't seem to show you very accurately in this lighting. Um, and the concealer, the concealer kind of separated, I mean, not too bad or anything, but it's definitely like starting to settle more. And because this powder comes out in very little amounts, I wasn't able to put enough to stop the creasing. So I'm just not really impressed with either one of these. I don't think they're the worst, but for the price, I think they could definitely be better. The highlight products were definitely the foundation. I think that this is very, very pretty and I'm excited to see how it wears. The foundation definitely sort of reminds me of like a variation of the L'Oreal Infallible Freshwear. I don't know if they're entire dupes yet. I'll test those out and if they are, you'll see them in a future dupes video of mine, but I do think that they're very similar, which is why I think I like them. The finish is nice very buildable. I like the texture. So I really do enjoy this foundation. I think it's really nice so far. I'm excited to see how it wears. Hopefully it's long wearing like it says it is. Um, I do love the Merit Cream Bronzer. Um, it's very subtle, but so pretty. Like I just think that I look youthful with this bronzer as well as with the highlighter. So these three are definitely my favorites. And then I could definitely say, and right off the bat, you can pass on the House Labs powder and the new Charlotte Tilbury Beautiful Skin Concealer. I just don't think that the Charlotte Tilbury concealer is up to par with the rest of her beautiful skin line. But anyway, I'm gonna go about my day and I'll see you guys at the end of the night to show you how everything wore. And of course, look out for my next speed reviews video because that'll include more detailed thoughts of all of these products. But for now, that is it. So I will see you guys in a little bit. So I'm about to close this video off here and I want to do my check-in. It's literally five o'clock in the afternoon. I have to get up at 2 a.m. tomorrow because I've got an early flight that leaves at 4.30. So I am closing off quite early as you can see based on uh, my window back there. But um, just real quick, I don't like the powder. Um, I'm sorry to say, I don't know if it's the formulation or the packaging or both. I definitely don't like the fact that very little comes in that packaging and the lid takes up most of the packaging itself. The foundation, I really do like. It's very, very similar to the L'Oreal Infallible Freshwear, especially with the way it's worn. I'll have to test them out side by side and let you guys know. I'd love for them to be dupes because you can get the L'Oreal Infallible Freshwear for as little as like $9 on Amazon and it goes up to about $15 retail price. And then of course the House Labs one is $45, so you could save a lot of money there, but um, I'll keep you posted on that. The concealer, it's just all right. Definitely prefer the Catrice True Skin Concealer though. Um, that's still gonna be my ride or die. The Charlotte Tilbury one, it's not that it's bad. I just didn't think it was anything special and it does settle in your fine lines pretty easily even after you set it with powder. Now that could also be the powder I use. So once again, make sure that you are following along on my channel and have those notification bells on. So you know when my speed reviews video goes up because I'll be giving my detailed thoughts on all the products I tried today as well as other products I've been trying out. So that way you guys can get a more accurate feel of like how I actually feel about the products after I've been using them for a while. Um, I love the cream bronzer from Merit. It's very natural looking. I think it just looks really, really good and it's so easy to blend. I think the best way to apply it, like I said, is to draw it on your hand first and then go in with the brush and then put it on your face from there. The Milani highlight, when I first put it on, I wasn't sure. And then after I was done putting it on, I think it looks so nice. It's very subtle, but like it's subtle, 
but not in a way that it's like too subtle to where it looks like you're not wearing anything, but it's subtle enough to where it doesn't look like you're wearing like a stripe of highlighter, which I love. So I really love that. I wish that came in a lighter shade, as you guys know, but um, I do really like the formula. So that is all my thoughts for right now. Hope you guys liked this video. And if you did, please give it a thumbs up and make sure you hit that notification bell down below and also subscribe to my channel if you're not already. I hope you guys have a great rest of your day and I will see you guys in the next video.